Det er Amen. All right, so we're at the climbing works in Sheffield for the Quiff event. And right now we're going to go look at the infinity board, which is this sort of spinning uh, spinning board that looks amazing on video anyways. I've never seen it in real life. Yeah, because so, you know. it was in the Biff finals. Yeah, it was in the Biff finals, exactly. And yeah, let's go check it out. And this is the time Ian will get injured again. Are you going to compete in Quiff? Uh, yeah. In, in, in which group, Linda? The best. <laughs> which group are you going to compete in? I'm going to do in like the second group, so not the elite one. But I'm trying to convince him to change to my group because I need some support. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I don't Come feel like uh, getting that kicked. It's <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's still like the same condition. So I'm also like against Kokoro, but I'm just not climbing in the same category. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, the foundry was it? Uh, I don't know really what kind of place it is, uh, but um, seems good. Get some warm up. Get ready for the schoolroom. Well, me and Linda are competing tomorrow, so I guess we're not climbing too much today. Yeah. Um, we are competing against like the World Cup elite, so um, I guess we have to be on our best to like at least do some problems. Here. What's happening? <laughs> Clothes from Rav! Here we go! Alright, let's make it through the winter. Ooh, even more! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Ugh. Matt, who are you? Hi. <laughs> Stang on. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm your chaperone for the weekend. I'm just here to show you uh, uh, the Sheffield walls and uh, to make sure you don't die. Sounds Actually. good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, but yeah, at the moment I'm going to be your chauffeur now and then we're going to go to the foundry. Right? Get all your stuff in and then we'll work out like a Jenga style way of fitting you in. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, get in. Go with the big guy first. The big guy's gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I'll, I'll, I'll take a front seat. <laughs> I'll Alright, so quick apology from me and Eric. Uh, the mic seems to have been sort of broken for the past hour or so. Anyways, we're still at the foundry working on this uh, uh, wall called uh, the Wave. They're, yeah, the 27 year old uh, wall with problems from 27 years ago. And right now we're actually not working on a set problem, we're working on the texture of the wall. So we're trying this arete, and you're just allowed to use the, you know, really old features on the wall. That's where we're at. Let's do it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I've, uh, I've done all the moves so far, so I'm just gonna give it a red point go. Oh, 
time too fast, man. I I'm can't even keep up. <sighs> yeah, it's like that when you're tired. Um, how many years ago did you do it last time? Oh, probably maybe 20 <laughs> when I first did it. Yeah. Easy, I think, because the, the wall's 26 years ago and it was one of the first ones to do just on features. So really excited. And then the other one on features, this is the classic one on features. But one of the holds has come off. This is a hard one. You must have built it. You go from you go from here to here, then up to that one. Then you get that one. Then you get that one with your left hand. All right. You get up to the crimp, and then there's an edge just above that yellow one. Yeah. And Not that was nice. always the hardest. Okay. Well Frederick, get on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try that one actually. Alex. These are the classics. Alex Migos did it when he was here. He did yeah. it pretty quickly. Huh? No pressure, Frederick. Uh. No, no, he took two days on it. He took two days okay. on it. Yeah, he spent it. He didn't really do it. Kept falling off the last move. Yeah. Just take the pressure off. <laughs> <laughs> but a long time ago, went on a bouldering wall. It was just random holes all over it. Mm. So this was the first wall in the country where we actually made colour coordinated boulder problems. And everybody was saying, people don't want that. <laughs> People want to find their own boulder problems. Yeah. Yeah. We had a bit of arguments and then they said, look, just build, build problems. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was also the first wall with bouldering mats. Before that, there was no bouldering walls with bouldering mats. Did you bring like uh, crash pads or yes? No, you didn't. No, no because, no, because, you didn't it, was the, because it was the first one, there was no right? crash pads. They weren't invented. Okay. Ah. They weren't <laughs> invented. So this, this, the mats here, were pre-bouldering mats. Yeah. But I climbed with uh, Wolfgang in Germany, and where he trained at the university, was in a gymnasium and they had a pole vault mat. We used to pull the pole vault mat over and fall on the pole vault mat. So I thought, one day, if I get a gym, I've got to have mats. So that's where we put the mats down here. But we got, they weren't like this, they were just little small mats that you could yeah. pull around and move and stuff. And then later on these came. That's an idea that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? It's just yeah. like it was just you. Bouldering mats. <laughs> the first first time I saw bouldering mats in Yosemite, I was yeah. I was like, "There's never catch on. Who's going to carry a bouldering mat <laughs> to the cliff? <laughs> never, yeah. never in a million years. Not going to happen." <laughs> <laughs> and now you get people with five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you going to try it, Frederick? Yeah, I'm gonna try like the original version of like the red first, yeah. and then I'm going to this one.